Twitter update, how to return to old Twitter as users hate new update. Twitter users have blasted the latest update to the popular social media platform. There is, however, a way to revert to the original version of Twitter. Twitter this month introduced a significant redesign to its desktop platform. The social media giant announced the update would make tweeting faster, easier to navigate and more personalized. Unfortunately for Twitter, many users have criticized the update, with many urging the Silicon Valley giant to revert to the original layout. While this is will not happen, one Twitter user has discovered how to revert to the previous desktop version. Unfortunately, users who reverted to the original version soon realized the change is only temporary. In a follow-up tweet, Mr. Bixby noted, it works for a while and then you have to redo it. The only permanent solution is to stop using Twitter and go about your life. However, the temporary change should offer some brief relief for those who hate the Twitter update. How to revert to the original version of Twitter Start by clicking more on the left-hand sidebar. Next click Settings and Privacy, then select About Twitter under the General column. Under the other column, click Directory, this will open a new tab in your browser. Then click Home on this new tab. You should now be reverted to the old version of Twitter. What is the Twitter redesign? The social media site began testing the new version of its site back in September 2018. The new look better resembles the Twitter experience on smartphones. The new look was originally optional, and only available to some. Now, the redesign will be mandatory for Twitter users, disabling their ability to switch to the social network's legacy layout. Twitter Inc. Today, Friday, July 26 reported better than expected second quarter revenue as design changes to its microblogging website attracted more users and advertisers, sending its shares up 10%. Twitter's revenue and number of users have been in focus since the social media platform started deleting millions of spam or fake accounts promoting hate speech or spreading political misinformation, contributing to declines in monthly users through 2018. Chief Executive Officer Jack Dorsey announced Twitter saw an 18% drop in reports of spammy or suspicious behavior across all tweet detail pages, which show the replies to any given tweet on the service. The company reported a rise in monthly active users in the first quarter, fueling speculation that Twitter was returning to growth, but has since stopped disclosing its monthly active user count.